What are people not talking about that they should? They're not talking about our worldview. Everybody's laughing at America because we have the weakest president we've ever had in the history. He likes everybody but America. He, well, because he's crooked, he's gotten a lot of money, millions over the years with his son Hunter. But the thing that is, Russia, China, everybody's laughing because we have no strength. We are not the America of 10 years ago. It's scary. So we were we were stronger when President Obama was in office? No. We that was 10 Obama. years ago. No, yeah. Obama started this whole mess and started dividing us. When Trump came in, he started getting us back to our roots, back to loving America, back to helping get rid of the regulations so we could be more energy efficient. Now, look at we're buying our oil from where? A foreign country when we have enough here in this country to take care of us plus many? Well, we've always bought our oil from other countries. No, but we could produce more here. He's hurting big businesses. Look at what's going on. You've got big businesses that are going out of business. Did you hear about the um, the drug? Uh, not not CBS, but one of them. They're, right, Aid. They're going out of business. They're, they're closing over a hundred stores. That has nothing to do with being able to get stuff online and from Amazon. No. You started to talk about immigration. Tell me, tell me about that. So, who are these people in our country? They're not vetted, right? They're, we don't know nothing of them. So they're seek, asylum seekers, essentially, right? And that's fine. You know, I'm, I, I love people. I love diversity. I do. I honestly, in my heart, I do. What I see on TV, what I read on the news is a lot of people getting bussed from, from Texas, Governor Abbott, saying we can't, we cannot sustain all these people coming in. Do you, do you think that's PR and propaganda or do you think that's, you take him at his word? No, I, I absolutely believe it because the, what, the reason I say I believe that is because Governor Abbott. He's sitting there saying he can't sustain this. So if Abbott, he's not even on the border where Texas is, right? And if Abbott can't sustain the influx of immigrants that are coming, then what do you think is happening in Texas? We're right there on the border. I mean, that should speak volumes, right? And what do you think is the biggest danger in America right now? The people pouring in from over the border. I mean, as he always said, and he has said for many years, the fentanyl, the terrorists, the, I mean, we've got enough problems with our own people, much less to bring in from other countries. And what is it about, I mean, this is a, a nation of immigrants. What is it about immigration that, ha that gives you pause right now? Well, it's not immigrants because my family came straight from Italy. So it has nothing to do with immigration. It has to do with the fact that they're not even checking these people. My uncle was not allowed into the United States when my grandfather came because of he had an eye condition. Now they're just letting anybody come in. It's a free for all. You know, my biggest fear right now is nothing is in place or I don't know if anything's in place to not have the, the election stolen again. That's my biggest fear. So you think it was stolen last time? Absolutely. What has been the evidence that you've seen that, that convinces you? 2,000 Mules, that movie, with people actually stuffing the ballot boxes, of people having bins of ballots underneath their desk, of them stopping when he was ahead, and then all of a sudden he lost when everybody woke up the next morning. You know what? I mean, I'm no brilliant person here. But what I saw, and it's not just because I'm for Donald Trump, let the best man win, you know, but when it's stolen, it's stolen. And it was stolen. And like I said, I wasn't there, but I saw the movie of the exact things that were happening. You're not going to convince me otherwise when, um, when you see things. That's Dinesh D'Souza's movie you're talking about. The courts have poured over anything, everything. People from within the administration, Republicans who were state secretaries of state have said it didn't happen. What would it take to, to convince you that it, was, that it was a legitimate election? Oh, they would have to really convince me because the bottom line is Trump was out and about and rallying and Biden was in his basement. Biden did nothing, did absolutely nothing to win that last election. He didn't. He did nothing. So just because Trump was the harder worker. It, it, Not just that. I mean, look at his his policies. Look at his look at what he did, how he turned this country around from the Obama generation. I never got the impression that Obama loved America. He was from this place and that place. And 
you know, do we really know where he was from? <laughs> well, he was born in Hawaii, when, in the United States. Right, he was born in Hawaii, but uh, Trump, he was an open book. I know I'm, I sound stupid to the Democrats right now, but no, I, I think, I think Trump, if he doesn't have something in place, the same thing is going to happen with Biden. What would you say is the scariest thing that's happening in the country right now that no one's talking about? The border with, with Canada is a major issue. Do you know in the last 30 days they've caught, they've caught 6,000 people on the New England border with Canada? Uh, that's more than they have in the last 20 years. Those, there was people from 72 different countries. So we're being infiltrated at all corners and crevices around this country right now. And that's not good. I mean, we're catching people on the terror warning list and things like that. So um, those are isn't that good? That, that means that we don't have open borders, right? If we're catching people coming over. It's, it's, the ones, it's the ones we're not catching.